What's up guys? This is Mike from RKM Training and this is Hard to Hurt. In this video, we're going to discuss the controversy surrounding my refusal to shake Ninja Ron's hand at Street Beefs. Ninja Star. Ninja Star. Ninja Star. Hard to Hurt is a channel dedicated to fitness and self-defense. We'll do fitness tips, self-defense techniques, gear reviews, and we'll take you on all our crazy adventures like, I don't know, fighting a ninja in an underground fight club on YouTube. So about the fight, if you're not up to date on the fight, there'll be a link in the description below of the explanation of the fight, the fight itself over on the Street Beefs channel, and the aftermath where I explained my take on it. But one thing I never addressed was the handshake. We have gotten so many comments, messages, and trash talk about me refusing to shake Ninja Ron's hand. He offered his hand and you ignored it. Why wouldn't you shake his hand? Why did you refuse to touch his gloves? And I can answer all that very simply. I did. We did touch gloves. We did shake hands. I encouraged him to meet his martial arts goals. I encouraged him to go seek out real training under competent instructors. I told him martial arts are for everybody. I also told him that he was the only one out of this whole internet ninja movement to ever show up and actually fight anybody and that he should hold his head up. The problem was, most people have only seen the YouTube video. Now to all the YouTube fighting experts in the comment sections, this might look like an eternity to you. But to me, in that moment, it barely even registered. It wasn't this long, drawn out, deliberate refusal to shake the man's hand. I was just trying to get back to my corner, back to where my team was, so we could figure out what the next move was. But in the live feed, Scarface brought us together. Immediately after that, we touched gloves, shook hands and said our piece. On the YouTube video, though, it looks like an eternity. It looks like he's like, ah, oh, you got me. Good job, man. And he extends his hand for like a fivesies or whatever. And I'm like, I'm not shaking your hand because I'm an asshole that just beat you up. That's what it looks like. But nothing could be further from the truth. I was scared out of my mind. The entire experience was super sketchy. I was in a vacant lot behind somebody's house. I had to walk back there between a, a house and a, a fence with bushes growing out of it. And there was like a big cable spool with like tools and shit all over it. And I was in the backyard of a guy named Scarface. Now, six months later, me and Scarface are super cool. He's one of the best guys I've ever met. But at the time, I was fighting in a lot behind Scarface's house. Plus, I don't have a ton of organized fights to my name. Most of my fights and physical conflicts were professional in nature with use of force incidents as a police officer. So when it comes to an organized fight, I still kind of have to get myself amped up in order to be able to perform. When the fight ended, I wasn't sure what to expect. I knew this guy wasn't a fighter. I didn't know what he was still going to do. He might still feel some kind of way about it. Ninja star. And want to like, you know, blow dart me. I didn't know what this guy was going to do. Smoke bomb. Throat slit. Shuriken. But... I hope that answers everyone's question. We did shake hands. We did touch gloves. We did squash the beef. It was a very positive experience, I think, for everyone. We all learned from it. So thanks for watching, guys. If you want to see fitness tips, self-defense and fighting techniques, or gear reviews, or, you know, stuff like this, make sure you click like and subscribe, and stay hard to hurt. If you want to keep pounding me with negative comments in the comments section, please do. I love it. I like the negative comments just as much as the positive ones. Peace out, guys. Smoke bomb. Throat slit. Shuriken. <laughs>